Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to download Summertime Saga on Android. Before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. So downloading Summertime Saga here and installing on your Android device is actually pretty easy. So the first thing you need to do here is you need to use a browser. Let's go ahead and open up any browser here. And from your browser, you need to go to google.com or your any search engine that you have right now. In this case, we'll just need to search for Summertime Saga. Now from here, you should be able to see a few results here. So in this case, you should also see the website for summertimesaga.com. Let's go ahead and choose the very first one here, which is going to be the download link section. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we need to scroll down a bit here and look for the option that says stable. So in this case, we have all content, a date, music and sound, translation available, and all mini games. In this case, let's go ahead and click on download. Now from here, you should be able to see a few things here. So for example, we have the Android 32 bit here, also have the Android 64 bit here and Android 14 plus. So in this case, I'm going to choose the appropriate one, appropriate one for my device here. So again, if you have an older device here, you could choose the Android 32 bit, older Android platforms, or if you have a latest phone here, you could choose the Android 64 bit, Android 14 plus. This case, let's go ahead and choose your appropriate one here, which is going this case for me is going to be the Android 32 bit older Android platform. Again, if you have a newer phone, you could choose the Android 64 bit option here, which is Android 14 plus. This case is going to choose the mega option here, but you could choose the other links here, but I just uh, want to use the mega uh, link here. Now wait for it to load up. So what we need to do is we need to download this one. So go ahead and click on the download button at the bottom right of your screen and it's going to start the download process. So in this case, this might take a few minutes or a few seconds depending on your internet speed. But in this case, let's just wait for it to, it to completely download. Now, if you see any pop-up that says a file might be harmful, go ahead and click on download anyway here. So if you see any pop-up, go ahead and click on the download anyway option. And again, it's going to start the download or the actual download process. So in this case, it's going to decrypt, uh, decrypt the actual file or AP, APK first. Then once it actually decrypt, it's going to actually start downloading it. In this case, you might notice that the actual download progress might be hidden to you. So at the top right of your screen, go ahead and click on the three dotted icon there. And from there, you choose the option for download. So go ahead and choose downloads here. So once you click on it, you should now be able to see the current progress of your downloads. As you can see, it is now downloaded. In this case, once it's actually downloaded, go ahead and click on it. And usually your mobile phone would have an APK installer themselves. So you won't need to install anything, but just in case if you don't have an APK an installer or you're having issues or your phone does not know how to open this one, you might need to install an a APK installer from the Google Play Store. So in this case, again, most Android devices would have their own APK installer. So in this case, let's just wait for the staging process to complete here and let's proceed with the actual installation. So again, it didn't pop up here. Let's go ahead and click on install and that would actually start the installation here. So let's just wait for it. And as you can see, it's now starting to install. So again, let's just wait for it to completely install. And as you can see, Summertime Saga is now installed on our mobile device. In this case, you could go ahead and just click on it for in order for it to boot up. But once it actually boots, boots up, you should be able to start playing the actual game. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.